This is Warehouse B at Castle and Key Distillery. This was one of two remaining warehouses left on site. Um, as you see, this warehouse is very long. We've got uh, a, just shy of two football fields long in this warehouse. We can store about 31,000 barrels. And so we are currently um, filling this with product that we are distilling for ourselves and also for some other distilleries. Uh, but down here, we've got our, our uh, first barrel that we ever filled that we all got to sign. And then up here, we've got our barrel 100. Um, we were able to use these brass barrel hoops as a uh, homage to our, um, our owner of this place at the beginning, the guy who created uh, this, this space. And so we wanted to pay homage to him as he used to use brass barrel hoops in all of his, um, his barrels, so. We, um, we're gonna go by the Bottled and Bond uh, Act, which is basically, it ensures that the product is aged at least four years, uh, that it is in a new American oak barrel. Um, and so we've got, or a new oak barrel, and ours are a new American oak, they're from um, Speyside and Speyside Cooperage. And so, um, so yeah. Currently we're using this for new barrel storage, but we will um, eventually be re-ripping it and bringing it back to life as what it was originally. But this was an addition by National Distillers in the 1950s. So um, there were originally four boilers in here, two of which were just completely crumbling when we found the property. So we took down the rest of those bricks. We're going to use those bricks to pave out the patio. 